okay so we will continue solving the problem so let me write the code like really quickly and show you some bad practices okay so okay i'm initializing the result to an empty array and uh, what i'll do is i'll do while a dot length greater than zero okay i want to find the minimum okay i'll create a variable called as n So I iterate through every element in the array, check whether it is lower than the minimum. If it is lower, then I will uh, subtract, I mean, I will uh, set it to the minimum value, okay? So a of i, a of i less than uh, the minimum, then a of i is, will be the new minimum. Okay, now that we have found uh, the minimum, we have to subtract it from the array. And we also have to create a new array. Okay, so I'll just do let b equal to this. And uh, let i equal to 0. Okay, so the, in the new array, the values are the old array of i minus the minimum value, right? So a of i minus minimum. So this is the new value. I call it, uh, I don't know, x. Now what I'll do is I'll add this element to b now we have the new array okay now let's go back here we are we are come uh, we are at this stage okay now what we have to do is remove the minimum from minimum value uh, from the uh, new array okay so now what i'll do is uh, for let you know what i think what we can do is uh, we can check whether the value of uh, a of i is greater than minimum only then add it to the new array b so if a of i equal to minimum don't do anything else we'll do that okay we'll uh, subtract uh, the minimum value from a of i and add it to b so are you identifying some bad practices already? And you can see that now the code is already not uh, kind of readable, right? If someone looks at the code, they'll have no idea what's up happening. And even if there is an error, it will be difficult for you to debug. Okay. So anyway, let's complete this. Let's see what happens. Okay, now we have this new array. And now I want to push uh, this array to the result. Okay. So I'll say result.push b okay cool looks fine doesn't it so let's run it let's see what happens okay so in uh, this case i'll just run the first test case and then uh, see what happens because i don't want to run the function with all the test cases at once so after the first iteration i just break okay So we are running the code. Okay, let's wait for the result. Hang on, what happened? I'm not getting any result. Okay, so, okay. So the first thing you can do when you're stuck like this is, when something like this happens, it's probably because there's a infinite loop. So we have forgotten to terminate the loop, right? We have forgotten to add the condition to terminate the loop. So to uh, fix that, one thing you can do is uh, there are a couple of things you can do the first thing is to add uh, uh, to to print some variables and the second thing is to use like a loop counter and uh, 
exit before uh, after it reaches a particular value so i'll just say let i equal to 0 and then what i can do is if i is uh, greater than 100 i'll just say console.error oh no you have entered an infinite loop okay and i'll increment uh, i so this value can be chosen depending on the complexity of the problem because you have been work you are working only with arrays of size 3 and 4 i know that definitely this while loop should not last greater than like three or four iterations right so that's one thing you can do and the second thing uh, you can do is print all the variables at the beginning or end of the iteration so let's just uh, print that as well so i'll say console.log the value of a is a this is the array and uh, iteration i okay. so at this iteration this is the value of a and we expect it to reduce after each iteration right so that is our expectation now let's see what is actually happening okay so what happened we are still um, went beyond iteration 100 even though we have we have a console dot error okay, okay. We, we can uh, break from here right if i exceeds 100 so let's run it again so i hope you understood what happens here if i exceeds 100 we are like hey the program is wrong i will exit okay okay so we exited we say oh no we have entered an infinite loop so let's see what's happening here so you can notice that the value of a is um, always one two three it is never changing right so that's why we never exited out of the loop so that's the first thing we have to fix so now we have to go read the code and then uh, find out why the value of a is not changing okay so you guys get a chance to identify the issue i'll pause the video for like a few seconds okay so the error is we did not replace uh, the value of uh, array with the new array right that is something we missed out on so let's first do that a equal to b okay seems okay let's run it again We still have the same issue. The value of a does not uh, seem to change. Okay. So now we have to go back and uh, fix the next issue. So you can see that debugging uh, this way is complicated, right? Because we have to debug around uh, almost 20 to 25 lines of code. So a better way to solve the problem is to keep making small changes and running the code after writing like four or five lines okay so don't debug all the code at once uh, i mean don't run all your code at once run your code after writing around four or five lines as soon as you have completed even a small part of the algorithm after each step so let's do let's do that next okay we'll do that in the next video